We are in a makeup game from that some two months later. Next one to Delgadillo, chopping ball to the right side off of that tall hop and with the nice play, 4-3, put out Seneca Kuro. And opponents hitting exactly 220 against. There are a couple of hops that's going to pop out of the glove of the third baseman, Jordan Woolery, who will make that play 9 out of 10, but that second hop, she could not hang on. UCLA 10 and 3 here at Easton Stadium. Fastball swing and a miss. Caitlin Terry has got herself a strikeout here. No doubt the heart of the Big West. 31 appearances in the NC2A tournament. National champs in 1986. Swing and a miss. A couple of strikeouts in the first inning for Caitlin Terry. No runs, no hits. A runner left. There was one error. Bruins coming up for the first time here in a moment. Pay off the 2-2, uh, two -two rather. There's a bouncing ball up the middle. Tough play and no play. So Maya Brady, after going hitless this past weekend, is aboard with an infield single to start the Bruin back. Played Alexia Lopez. And there goes Brady. The ball is thrown into center field. Otherwise, they would have had her. Brady, a little bit of hesitation there. And the throw... Looked like it was in time, but just airmailed over the head of Colby McClinton. Off from the uh, postseason in a Washington uniform. This one has popped up. Left-hand side foul territory. About halfway down the line. And making the play will be Hannah Becerra. An outing back on March 23rd in their Big West win over Bakersfield. High fly ball. Pretty well struck, but it will stay in the park in front of the track. And the ball will be caught out in right by Kate Verhoff. Two outs and Maya Brady. Will Willery will be up there 318. Four homers, 17 batted in. McCleskey throws. High fly ball. Well struck. Deep in the right. Home run. Jordan Woolery off the screen in right field. And that will make people forget about that first inning air right away. Wow, got a hold of it. Going into right field. Two to nothing, Bruins. The Bruins up in Corvallis hit four home runs throughout the two and one weekend. And Woolery hit one of those four. That ball is hit in the left field and will drop for a base hit. That's a chopper up the middle over McCleskey, but right there to back her up is Peyton Toto. She'll just step on the second base bag. Dayton's Peyton Toto and Colby McClinton to follow. And Caitlin Terry, first pitch, swinging, ground ball right side, and an easy 4-3 put out. Seneca Kuro, not stop. That ball hit in the air, right side, and going on out with the angle, Seneca Kuro as she crosses the foul line. A couple of very quick outs here in the top of the second. Now jammed her there, but it works. Went right up the middle, kind of caught her on the bottom of the barrel and somehow managed to get it past Terry and through the middle. These are 89 for 108. When trying to steal a base, hit and run there. Ground ball again to the right side. Underhanded flip. Santa Kakuro. It was all about her this inning, wasn't it? A couple of ground balls there, and of course that catch. On a right-handed hitter, bent to the knees. First pitch, little loop, and right near the edge of the dirt for the Titan second baseman, and that's Colby McClinton bringing it in, one away. Back to the Big West this weekend. They'll be hosting UC San Diego, leading the conference, their conference at 10 and 2. Ground ball, couple of hops, and short hopped. The second hop, nicely done by Hannah Becerra across the diamond. Ball after falling behind 3 and 0. Mayonio stands up there at 340. Couple of driven in on the season, trying to leg one out on the ground. The bunt is down, and Janelle Mayonio doing one of the things that she does so very well. One. There goes Janelle. That's a towering fly ball deep to left field. This one is over the wall. For a moment, had the pause there. It seemed like Bailey Wallace had an outside chance 
leaping up. It just does make it over the left field wall, just to the right of the scoreboard. We'll take another look here. Wallace all the way back, put her glove up, and it just does clear the wall. Rosa, of course, was a great shortstop here from 2012 to 2015. That ball ripped up the middle and yeah, right into the center fielder's glove, hardly having to move there, was Megan Delgadillo. Also, Brady, RBIs 215 and 216 to her name all time. Of course, we are in a non-conference game, so maybe a little bit more experimenting going on on both sides. Swing and a miss there. Three strikeouts for Caitlin Terry. The reigning Big West Fresh Conference game. A little bit of wiggle room for both sides. Ground ball, 5-6 hole. That is a base hit. Delgadillo drives one on the ground for her. Caitlin Terry winds up. There she goes. That's popped up, and it's going to reach the outfield. And throw back to first is going to be, uh, well, up against the Titan dugout, and that's going to move Delgadillo easily to second base. Showing Bunt, going to pull that one back, and that's going to miss outside. So a walk issue to Becerra. Titans now two on and two out. Game winning run batted in on a hit up the middle. Happened in the top of the 12th up there. Broke a 1-1 tie, swing and a miss, some high heat. Caitlin Terry has her fourth strikeout this year. They are deep in the circle. Sharp ground ball and on a 2-2 pitch, driven on the ground for a base hit. Three. One for one. There she goes. Throw down to second base, and that's going to be off the edge of the glove of Toto. Don't think it would have mattered. Bang, bang play, so maybe they do have her, but nice slide there. That ball is ripped right into the glove at second base for McClinton, and proceeding to flip to Toto for the double play. McCleskey. And McCleskey goes two innings tonight in a starting roll. Gives up four runs on five hits. Waved at on another changeup, but chasing one was Megan Grant. It was senior day here. Beach volleyball, number one in the nation. Fastball, that's going to miss. Yeah, no, that's going to hit the inside corner. Well, a little delayed call there by the home plate umpire, Scott Tomlinson. A little delayed call with the punch out. Here's Toto. That is hit into left field. Diving and making the play. Out in left. Jadalyn Alchin. And of course softball. Ranked number 12. We'll get California for three this weekend. All different start times. Seven, five, and two so far. The ones... By the way, McClinton just got her second hit, two out of the three Titan hits tonight, and there she goes, swing and a miss, throw down to second base, and getting under the tag, McClinton, who now is a perfect five for five, stealing bases. Keep on running, Lopez up there, 0-2. Terry winds up, swing and a miss, Caitlin Terry, another strikeout, that'll be her sixth of the night. Cal State Fullerton, no runs, a hit, a runner left, halfway through it at 279. Three hits in the Oregon State Series. That ball hit in the air, right center field, a few steps over and backwards. Delgadillo bringing that in. One away. Yeah, Perez. Eh, comebacker. A left-hander, all she has to do is turn and make the easy throw to Toto. Two outs. And Perez, by the way, uh, Two outs, base is empty. The left-hander throws, and that will miss. And Castro just... Yeah, waved that and missed there. And Maonio strikes out. A couple of strikeouts now in relief for Leanna Garcia, the Bruins. Corners creeping in for UCLA. Terry winds up and the pitch, a bouncing ball. This one will be taken by Brady. Going to have to hurry and makes the fine play. Backing up Woolery off that hop that went over her head and Brady played it perfectly. Nine multiple hits. 
on the season. This one is grounded right-hand side and an easy play for Seneca Kuro. Two outs, nine extra base hits is what I wanted to say for Del. Audio on UCLABruins.com. I'll be with you for the first two. One hopper to Megan Grant. And she'll step on the first base bag, three unassisted. There is also a new right fielder as that one is off the glove of Garcia and Brady will make it the first without a throw. Right. Looks like there is a new second baseman. That's Jasmine Williams. That ball is hit in the center field. Base hit there. The relay in gets away briefly, but it will be station to station. First and second here in the bottom of the fifth. Freshman looks in, and the next one is hit in the air center field. This will be a much-needed first out for Cal State Fullerton, and nobody can go anywhere. Take a look at, as we mentioned, Garcia's numbers on the year, and she's looking a lot stronger out there, the eye test anyway, than her numbers would say. There's a double play, turn four, six, and three for Cal State Fullerton. So the Bruins put two on to start the inning and do not score of pinch hitters, in fact, this inning for Cal State Fullerton. Sharp ground ball played nicely by Willery and collects herself and throws across the diamond. So that's a nice play at third base by Jordan Woolery on a very hard hit ball. Santa Maria, a transfer from Hancock College. No one on the way. That is a pinch hit, base hit going the opposite field. Swing and a miss on a ball that was elevated seemingly. And Terry winds up and throws. There is a drive through the middle and into center field. Just passed a couple other players we have not seen yet. Very capable if Kelly Ford decides to put them in. And a swing and a miss there. Eight strikeouts for Caitlin Terry as the Titans since the second inning, two-run homer by Jordan Willery in the first, two-run homer by Maya Brady in the second. That has been it. First pitch swinging for Megan Grant. She drives one in the left field for a base hit, UCLA's ninth of the night. 3-1 on the way. That is low. In fact, it is going to get behind Lopez. And it was ball four anyway, so two Bruins won both games that weekend. That third one was canceled and has two strikes against her here and drives one in the right. Green light. And boy, good thing for the Bruins. That got away from home plate and it continues to get away. Two runs are going to score. Grant comes across as the Stevens from first base. One run technically should not have scored on that play, much less two. And, and Grant was, I'll tell you, I don't even know if she was maybe barely halfway to the plate. The throw was online. It got away from Lopez. And then the ensuing throw, I think it was Toto covering, got away from her. Be beating a good team here tonight as well. The Big West leaders chop her up the middle. This should tack on one more, and it will. The throw to the plate is not in time. Kuro, slide, Kuro slides in. And the potential run rule victory is now on first base. One, one, chopper to the left side and this one not handled by Perez. Goes in the left. Now if Pola scores at second, the game is over. 3-2 pitch, bouncing ball, right-hand side. The only play will be the short way to get Brady, but runners advance, one bag. Pola on third, Maonio on second with three against the pack on the air. A couple of nights wins for them over Arizona State and Oregon State this year. That might get it done, right field, and Savannah Pola going to tag up here. Send us all home early. Savannah Pola slides in. This game is over. UCLA in a run rule victory against the Big West leaders. Eight to nothing tonight in six innings on a sacrifice fly by Jadalyn Alchin.
One for three and an RBI to end the game early. Eight runs on 12 hits and two errors for UCLA. No runs, five hits, and one error for Cal State Fullerton. The Bruins go to 23-9 and with 20th-ranked California coming in this weekend. Cal State Fullerton heads back to the Big West to host UC San Diego. They'll take a 24-14 and record into that series. The winning pitcher tonight in another masterful performance is Caitlin Terry. She goes to 11-0. She struck out eight, walked only one.